Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, warm welcome to Oracle Fusion HCM training offered by InnoGeeks. In this video, we'll see how to grant access of BA and OTBA reports to others. So in the, in the previous few videos, we have seen how to create a BA report, register it as an ESS job. We've seen how to implement bursting and we've also seen how to migrate a BA report from one instance to another. And in this one, I'll just see how to grant access of VA and OTBA reports to others so that they can look at the report that you have used and they can also execute the report that you have used. Okay, so let's log into the instance. I'm, uh, I've logged in as HCM IMPL user and I'll go to the reports and analytics work area. So that option will be available under tools. Click on reports and analytics. Browse catalog. Under custom folder, we have created a folder called Uno Geeks. And in this folder, we have the report that we have uh, built, uh, the, the employee assignment data model and the report. So I am able to see all these folders and, and if I go into any of those folders, again, I am able to see all the reports that are part of those folders, right? That's because I have a role called, that's because I have a role called application implementation consultant. Okay, so I have this role assigned and people refer to this role as an AIC in real time so they so since i have aic role assigned to my user hcm impl user i was able to see or i am able to see all the reports in all the folders but in real time you will not have this role assigned to the end users okay not not to everyone probably one in department might get this uh, superpower role okay so and what that means is not every user gets to see all the reports and they will not be able to run all the reports. So if I want to give permissions of this report to others, how do I do it? So I go to click on more, go to permissions. And I can click on the plus icon. I can give permission of my report or to a specific user okay so you have three levels at which you can give permissions you can select users and you can search for a specific user and give permissions of the report to a specific user okay say for example i've built this report as hcm underscore impl and i want to give this report access to a curtis pt a specific employee so you select the hr specialist and i'm selecting curtis pt in specific so I select that user, add him to the selected members list, and I can also select what permission I want to give to this user on my report. I can give him full control or I can give him just the permission to open the report, which means he will not see the edit and more options. He'll just see the open option. And you've got a fine granular control here. Okay, so you've got a fine green control. You can, you can decide exactly what permissions you want to give to Curtis VT on your report. Okay, so I can just say open permission, click OK. That's how you give permission to a specific user. But that might become tedious uh, in some cases because you might have 10 users uh, in, a, in a HR department and let's say all of them need to or should be able to run the report that you have built. In such cases, you cannot uh, search for those 10 users and add them in, right? But those 10 users in the HR department would have a specific application role assigned, such as a human resource specialist or a HR specialist. In such case, what you can do, instead of giving permissions of your report to individual users, those 10 individual users who are in a HR department, those 10 users would have a role assigned, right? So you give permission of your report to the role so that all the users who have that role assigned will get the permissions that you define. So say, for example, I, I select HR specialist here. Okay. So I can I pick up this HR specialist view all role and 
let's say those those 10 users who are in a hr department has this role assigned okay so i want to give permission of this report to all the 10 users i can do it by giving access of my report to this role which is assigned to those 10 users in an indirect way so you select the role and you can also decide what permission you want to give to all of them okay if there are 10 users or 15 users who have this role assigned all those users will have full control on my report okay so this is how you give permissions of your report to a, a specific role and there's one more option available uh, which is called catalog group so you can we don't use this op option quite often in real time at the catalog level you can create a group and you can include a set of users in there a few users and you can give permissions of your report to the catalog group so that all the users who are in that catalog group will get the permissions that you assign okay this is another level uh, or another option that you have when it comes to giving permissions of your report to others you can give permission to a specific user or to a role or to a catalog group okay and the same concept applies to otbi report as well the way you assign permissions to bip the same logic applies to otbi reports as well let's just click okay and this is how you grant access of a ba and otbi report to others but if that bi report is registered as an ess job if that bi report is registered as an ess job you need to give explicit access of the ess job as well okay and the way you do it is whenever you register an ess job a privilege would have been created in the background with the same name as ess job so if you have registered your job as you know geeks employee assignment report a privilege would have been created with the same name you know geeks employee assignment report and you can go ahead and create a custom job role and include that privilege which got generated when when you registered the ess job and then you assign the custom job role to the user who needs to run the ess job so in case in case it's it's in case it sounds all too complicated or in case you're not aware of a security concepts in hcm you can ignore this for now okay and in the next video we'll see how to create an otbi detailed report otbi stands for oracle transactional business intelligence and with otbi you can create a detailed reports as well as summary reports we'll start off with the detail in the next one and in the second video from now we'll see how to build an otbi summary reports i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this video guys in case you are interested in oracle fusion hcm training offered by you know geeks please call us or whatsapp us on this number or you can email us on info@youknowgeeks.com thank you